Uh, Turkish artillery has returned fire at Syria for a fifth day. It was in response to a mortar landing inside the same Turkish village where five civilians were killed by a Syria-based strike on Wednesday. There are at this point no reports of casualties. Turkey's parliament authorized a military response this week and the prime minister warned it will not shy away from war if provoked. The Syrian fire zone on the border is said to be under rebel control, arousing suspicion that the shedding could be a deliberate effort to bring intervention. We'll be uh, crossing live to our Middle East correspondent Paula Slia uh, for details in the very near future here on RT. For now, though, with uh, Turkey saying it's ready for a strong action, anti-war activist Ken Stone says it is a, a Ankara that could be actually undermining its own stability by getting tough with its neighbor. Prime Minister Erdogan may think he's very clever in lobbing artillery shells over the border into Syria, but what he may actually be doing is shooting himself in the foot. Taking military action opens uh, the Pandora's box of um, Kurdish demands for a separate state. Um, the the uh, Kurds say to themselves, or certain Kurdish parties say to themselves, if the Turkish government can uh, act in Syria to change the boundaries on the borders in the Middle East, we too can uh, demand uh, the changing of the borders in Syria to, to include a Kurdish state. Um, so this is the kind of blowback that Mr. Erdogan gets when he involves himself in illegal military action across international borders. All right, let's uh, delve deeper into this now with our uh, Paula Slea standing by for us, of course, our Middle Eastern correspondent here, and we can uh, certainly get the latest on this breaking news. Paula, good to see you. Uh, when it comes to the latest shelling here, a mortar goes into Turkey from Syria. Turkey responds again the fifth day. What do we know about the latest bout here? Well, the latest information we have is that for the fifth straight day, Turkey has fired artillery into Syria. Now, this came just minutes after a mortar fired from Syria landed inside Turkish territory. The information at this stage is rather sketchy. We do understand that the mortar landed in the same Turkish village where mortar landed back on Wednesday, killing five people. At that stage, the mortar landed in a residential building. It killed two women and three children who were preparing for the evening meal. Now, the situation along the border has been volatile since Wednesday. There has been a number of mortars who've been fired across the border. Turkey has responded consistently. The latest information from the Turkish prime minister is that he will go to war if provoked. And certainly here in the region, there are growing concerns that this border situation might escalate into a regional conflict. The information we have is that the shell landed about some 200 meters inside Turkish territory. No injuries at this stage that we are aware of, and that it was just a matter of minutes before Turkey responded with at least six mortars that it fired across into Syrian territory. Now, Moscow has been involved in the situation in providing a sort of mediating role. They have urged for calm on both sides, and at the same time, they have said that any kind of border, cross-border operations are completely unacceptable, and this is something that is being echoed by the international community. Community. The, United Nations, the United Nations is involved. NATO, too, has the potential of getting involved. And here, too, there's growing concern that Turkey will call for a NATO operation. And the concern here is that this could ultimately set the footprints for foreign intervention, which is something that many in the international community and certainly many on the ground are very cautious of. All right, Artis, Paulus Lear there with the latest on this breaking news here on RT. Thank you.